Nathan from Gadget Coach here again with another video on iOS 8. Just talking about the alternative keyboards that are available uh, in iOS 8, one of the new features that's come in. Um, alternative keyboards have been available on Android for a number of years, uh, work really well, particularly the swiping options. So this is your standard Apple keyboard you'd be familiar with if you've used iPhone, iPad, etc. before. We've already got an alternative keyboard in the emoji setup, so you might have the emoji options. That's just set up exactly the same way. Uh, we've already got one other one on there at the moment, but I'm going to show you the swipe app today. So swipe is a, a, a term for describing. So swipe is a term for describing a way of inputting text, but it's also the brand of this app we're going to look at. So what we're going to do, go to the App Store, uh, that Swift key, that's another option that's available. Uh, that's just Swift key, one word. But this one I'm going to show, we've done a, another video on Swift key. Uh, so not Skype, swipe, a bit of a typo there. Swipe keyboard. To search and this is the one we're looking for here. Uh, there, there are some other ones that you'll see in the store that come up. Um, you see this big little keyboard for a uh, little keyboard for big fingers. There's some alternatives. So you're going to see more and more of these. Uh, the one we've got is this swipe keyboard by Nuance Communications. As you can see I've already downloaded this app because I've got the cloud symbol. I've just removed it for the purpose of this demo. And so come across, press on the cloud symbol to download. If you haven't downloaded it, just use Touch ID or enter your password and download as you would any other app. So what that's going to do is install the app on our screen. So it's just loading here, installing. You can see Swift key. So it does add another icon to your screen. So that's not something that can be avoided. But then I'm just uh, going to stick that in my documents folder, my utilities, something like that to clean it up. Now what happens when we go, uh, we need to activate this keyboard. So we go into settings, uh, so jump over. So now we need to activate this keyboard. So I'm going to go over to settings, go into general here. Go into the keyboard options. And we're looking up the top here for keyboards. So I've got five available. Now this one's been set up previously, uh, so it's just pulled in the settings, but if uh, you needed to enter it for a first time, you just click on add new keyboard and there'd be an option that come up or it might appear under this list here. But we've previously had it there, so it's just added in straight away. Swipe keyboard, uh, so that, that works perfectly. So now to use the swiping and how that actually works, I'm gonna go to messages, just load up a new one, that you see the other ones. So I come down to right, and there's our new keyboard with the Apple uh, predictive words. Press on the globe symbol at the bottom to switch between keyboards. So firstly the emoji one comes up. Here's the swift key one which has the darker background. Press the globe one more time. And here's the swipe brand one, uh, or by nuance. Now there's a couple of options with this one. Uh, but the, the swiping works just by dragging your finger from the first letter to the last one across the keyboard without any uh, taps. So if I want to say something like, hello, how are you today? Hello, don't even need to put in a space. How are you today? Cool, so that's pretty accurate, just drag your fingers across. A couple of other options with the swipe keyboard by Nuance that I like, uh, tap on the this options button at the bottom, press and hold, and I can switch over to just to the numbers keyboard, just like an old school phone, or the settings option. You can then, gives you some extra options here, choose your theme. So we're, we're on the light theme by default, but if you like the dark keyboard, or well, there's some options with a couple of pictures, sand and sun, just for something different. I personally don't like the, the detail shown behind it, I just like to keep it simple. Autocorrect, ask to add words to your dictionary, personal dictionary, add some extra words in. So there's some good settings there. So that is how to download and activate an additional keyboard, in this case the swipe keyboard by Nuance Communications, onto iOS 8. 
Uh, we hope you like the video. For more tips, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash gadgetcoach, facebook.com slash gadgetcoach to say hi, and on Twitter, at gadgetcoach. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time. Thank you.